This video goes over constraint-based training. And for constraints, if you'll notice that two players on each team have to hold a band behind their back with their arms behind their back. This is a direct constraint on the players because it reduces their speed. So two players on their team have full speed because they don't have the band. So how do the how does the player adapt? Does he have to play a little differently? Does it does it force him to develop a different kind of skill set? Does the team adapt differently from a strategy standpoint? And the next one we add here is a ball, a variable bounce ball. So this ball takes all kinds of um, different hops. And now they're dealing with a speed constraint. And we can call this an environmental constraint, the ball. It's kind of just something that they have to deal with right now. Uh, it simulates playing on a bumpy field. So in this, they're having to adapt and strategize and take upon different body positions to, uh, to control this ball, and maybe a little higher level of focus as well to control this ball, and still dealing with the speed constraints of two players. And in the third progression here, you're going to see now we've taken away the speed constraints, and now the players are just playing with this unpredictable bounce ball. And you can see... They do a really, really good job actually of playing with this ball. It takes a high, high skill level to be able to do this. And actually a lot of the players in this video are from South America and they have tons of experience playing on some grassy, unpredictable field. So they actually do really, really well with this ball. And the fourth uh, progression is we take away this ball and then we just use a regular futsal and it becomes much, much easier for all the players.